Last game of the day, y'all. Last game of the day. Yikes. Like I said, it's been a long time since I ever seen JMU looking the way how they've been looking, man. It's been a long time. No disrespect, no shade. It's just it's just tough. It's it's really, really tough, man. COVID nineteen has definitely changed the conversations for a lot of teams, man. It really has. I I just gotta be open, honest, and transparent. It's it changed the conversation. <sighs> UVA, Maryland, both of these teams very, very desperate to get a win under their belt. Very, very desperate. No matter what anybody says, Penn State is coming out as winners. They can lose against Towson. I promise you, nobody cares. And if you do, you're putting way too much stock into it. Because Penn State agree to play four games and had thus far gone three for three. So if they win, it's just cherry on the top, respectfully, because they're not playing at full strength. Towson's still one of the better teams on the East Coast, no questions asked. Some people will say that Towson should win just because they play less games. I didn't make any predictions, so I don't have a dog in this fight. I really don't. I, I, I legitimately do not have a dog in this fight. Here it comes. Max, Daniel, and the rest of the crew from Maryland. Kelly, Corman, and the rest of the crew from UVA. Yes, twenty. All right, so time is not running. So that being said, let me go ahead and pull up my cell phone. So that way we can get the clock. One minute. I don't know. We'll we'll figure out the time in a second, y'all. But at least I had the timer on my end, so we can figure out what's going on. Okay. Good block. This game is probably going to go at a slow pace just because both teams are kind of tired and also because Maryland does have a tendency to play at a slower pace. They don't, they don't mind playing defensively. They really don't. This is actually one of their strengths. They're very comfortable in this situation. I mean, very comfortable. All right, here comes Daniel. Max. Not a bad throw. Oh, missed catch. Missed catch by, by, oh, another kill for UVA. Here come Corbin back on his killing streak again. He's back on the killing streak, y'all. Jake literally told me he could not even lift his arm up earlier this week. I saw him. We had a real conversation. His fingers were shaking. Anyone who knows this, this style of dodgeball, you know that your fingers start to shake. You are very close to your limit. It's an indication that your body is saying, listen, we can't keep doing this. We can't. But Jake told me straight up, my team needs a win. That's what he told me, man to man. Current NCDA player to a former NCDA player. He told me straight up, I was like, listen, Shadi, I know my finger is shaking. 
I know that you're concerned for my personal well-being. But I need this win. That's what he told me. I was like, okay, I respect that. What a catch by Daniel. He gets hit on the ricochet, but he took one of the hardest throwers on the East Coast and ate him up, point blank. I told you, Maryland is very comfortable in a defensive position. Very comfortable. They don't mind it. They're Terrapins for a reason. They're living up to their namesake. A oh, missed catch. Good kill by number 10, Wells. Max, number 15, looking to push up. They're calling his number. He knows what he needs to do. He makes the throw very aggressive and quick. White, the first, makes his throw. Reset throw. Woo, that's gonna leave him for, that's gonna leave him for. Solid catch, yeah, solid catch by Daniel. Good block, oh God, oh God, he got killed. The frustration continues. One team, one player from both teams goes out of that exchange. Overhand throw. Does not get anything. Long reset throw. Kelly makes his throw, does not get it. Oh, whew, that's going to leave hard. Left side, left side. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, five. I hit it. Here it comes. Kelly, the throw, does not get it. He's by himself. Did he get the kill? He did get the kill. Double zero gets the kill. Team throw does not get it. Six players left for Maryland. More than six for UVA. All right, so if you want to watch the game for Towson, it's on Twitter. Wish it was on YouTube because that's a much better platform than Twitter, but it is what it is. As they will be playing against Penn State, and Penn State will try to go 4-0. Oh. Go, 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 go. Got him. Team throw works. Less than six. Maryland will be on the tank count if they have more than two balls. Another kill. Four players left for Maryland. Did I get him? Not quite. What, sir? There's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they only have 11 players. No, no, no. Oh, 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 God. Hey, uh, there's 11 balls on the court. Hey, there's 11 balls on the court. Yeah, official timeout on that one, man. I mean, the pause button on that. Count the balls real quick. This is kind of weird. One, two, three. Hold up. There's too many balls on the court. Ah, oh, Jesus. What in the world? Okay, okay. All right. We should be good now. All right. The so both teams go back to their respective sides. Yeah, so Penn State and Towson should be on uh, Twitter. Hopefully the stream is not too bad. Good luck with that. 
Twitter is not ideal for live streaming. I do this professionally. YouTube is the way to go. We just do it on Facebook because we got more people on here. Miss Cats but Max. Yeah, normally you want to do live streaming. You do it on YouTube. It's better. The video quality is better. Everything is better. But we're doing it on Facebook because there's more people here. One player left to beat. Anywho. Nothing. He's still safe. But he has more than two balls, so the shot clock should be should be starting for him. Block. High throw does not work. That being said, first game goes to UVA. Yeah. So if you do want to see the Penn State versus Towson game, you can go in their Twitter account. You can go to uh, Towson Dodgeball, search that up on Twitter. They'll be there. I wish somebody would have told me about that before they did that. I could actually give up. <laughs> I see you, Drew. <laughs> I see you, man. I wish somebody would have told me that um, before um, before they went live. That way, I could actually could have given them my osmo. So that way, the view would have been better. There is no commentary. There is no commentary. There is no view of the, of the game whatsoever. So, and it's on one side of court. It's not in the middle. So you can watch them play, but you might know what's going over the scoreboard. Might not. It is what it is. Anywho. Man, you ready? You be there ready? Dodgeball. Here we go. Oh boy. Alright, here come Maryland. They want to push up. Max, probably going to be one of the throwers. Actually, he is the thrower. Pretty much saying, listen, you need to push up. Left side, left side. Right side, right side. Three, two. Team throw. Never mind, but good kill, nevertheless. All right, cool. 45. No plays out for Maryland. One play out for UVA. Corbin, good throw. Another throw also on the right side as well, but no dice. No dice. Relatively peaceful right now. With all things considering. Nope, spoke too soon. Good block. Ball pop. Yikes, I'm extremely hungry. Oh, well. Wow. 
Let's see what's going on on YouTube. It's been a while since I've been over there. It's been a while. Haha, <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Hey, Mark Tiger, no problem. We are Penn State. Yeah, no problem. No problem for live stream. All right, he said go Terps. All right, that's what's up. Uh, we do need a shot clock, and I need to get some things. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Team throw. Nope, not quite. Where is the clock? This should be a clock. Yikes. Then he goes down there change. Wow. Three, two, one. There you go. Turn it up a little bit. Right side, right side, right side. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> That, that should be better. Straight to the dirt. Both teams are tired. Here it comes. Good block. Good block. Good block. Yeah, I'm not passing out. Not yet. I still, I still got enough energy. I still got enough energy. I got some water. I'm good. Thank you. Nah, JMU, JMU is done for the day. JMU doesn't have any more games. Uh, they they went one and two. They beat Maryland, but they lost to Towson and the Penn State. Towson and Penn State, they're playing on court two at the old gym. And uh, the game is last year. What a vicious hit, by the way. Uh, by uh, UVA, and um, you can ask me where I say game on their Twitter account on on a Towson basketball Twitter account, but um, it's stationary. There's no commentating, no graphic overlays. Oh my God, Jay Relax. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to drink more water. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's another kill by number three. Another kill by Jake. It is too many, but three people just got killed. About to be four if Jake can find his target. Jake, looking for it. That may have grazed him, but I think he's safe. Yikes, he's feeling fatigued. I'm feeling fatigued. I need some food soon, but I'll get something to drink and I should be okay. Wells, nothing. Robinson, good throw, just no dice. Yeah, Max is still out here throwing heat, man. That's incredible, I know. He's just a really solid play overall. And he's pretty much like their primary thrower. Oh, what a shot! Man, she took it off the chest, though. Much respect to her. She can catch, too. Yikes, that is not going to work. Well, that will. Little throw. Good reset throw. Oh, woo, what a shot! Oh, he almost had it! He almost had it. 
he literally, wow, yep, that is a kill. And just like that, Maryland's very close to having less than six. Wow, what an athlete. What an athlete. Did that open pod too. Woo, what a shot! And Jake Corman with the grown man catch, sitting on the ground, being the boss that he is. Gets up. Team throw takes him out. One player left to beat. The rookie. Very athletic. And that is a ball's over, unfortunately, for our young hero from Maryland. Whew. Boy, Jesus. Yeah, Zach, he always throws gas. He's been drawing gas for as long as I've known him, man. 6.15 left in the first half. UVA is up 1-0, trying to make it 2-0. And because it's not under five minutes, they will play this next point. Yikes. Whew, man. Yeah, that four hours of sleep, y'all, I'm hurting, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm hurting, man. But we'll get through this together. That ain't going to work. That will work. Just like that, UVA is up 2-0. Yeah, I believe you, Zach. He hit 70 miles his freshman year. Yeah, I believe that. And because he's short, too, low center of gravity, more lethal. More lethal. Lord Jesus. Yeah, I'm definitely hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hurting y'all. Real talk, I'm hurting. Gotta drink more water. Not really for sure, Jeremy. I'm not I'm not for sure, buddy. Uh did a ref made a call but didn't see the did attack. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I need more water. Uh, we just got to do this game, and then we can go home. This weekend, well, Sunday and Monday, it's going to be lots of video editing, so. Lots and lots of video editing. It's going to be a long day. UBA ready. USC ready. All right, here we go. All right, nothing. All right, here it comes. Good block. Whoa. It was boss with Jake as far as Jake got that kill of mentality. Oh, but the second one got number one, wiped the first out. Right side, right side, let's go. Watch left, watch left. Good block. Kelly makes his move. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's out. Oh, it's a catch. 
Oh, wow. He was able to snag it, though, at the last minute, though. Tough move, nevertheless. Here it comes. Mistro. Multiple pump fakes, though, keeping the Terrapins honest. UBA is looking to push up. Good block. Another pump fake. Here comes Jake. Ooh, that's a kill. I think that was off enough. I think number three got the kill. Roll man catch right there by Max. He got a lot better over the years with his catching ability. He always had an arm. Seems like he has control of his emotions. He's about to be a very dangerous player. We always said if he could control his emotions, he would go to the next level. We're, we're seeing that happening. Oh, he stepped out. He, he stepped out. He stepped all the way out, yeah. Yeah, he stepped out, man. Counter has a kill. Woo! Daniel, wrong man move right there, number 33. For many years, he was just known as Zach Little Brother. That's not the case no more, but what a catch by Zero. We now call him Daniel by his first name. He's always been known as Daniel, but now we'll give him the respect that he deserves. He's gotten taller, and his throw has actually got a lot stronger, too. He's also more uh, stable, too. His, his movement is very, very stable now. I can't go to the water fountain, Jeremy. I have to wait until after half time. Ah, so it was a catch. Gotcha. Hit his foot. I got you. Yeah, that person was out of bounds. But good catch, though. No, he got it taller. He got it taller. Zach, he got it taller. Don't lie to me like that. Don't do not lie. Do not lie to me like that. He has gotten taller. He is heavier. He is he 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 is bigger. He is bigger. That is true. He does got some muscles on him. We we can we can agree to that. Oh crap. That's a kill. That's a kill. That might work. Yeah, it will. It will. I don't know how much time is left. I'm gonna check real quick for y'all. 130 left. Yeah, you're both 6'2 now, but he wasn't always 6'2. He was shorter. But both of y'all are 6'2 now. That's why I said it appears he gotten taller, because he wasn't always 6'2. That's another kill for Daniel. We need more water for halftime, I know. There's no way. There's no way, but that is a catch for Maryland. Uh-oh. Woo! Max goes down on that exchange, unfortunately. Daniel taking his... And that's a missed catch. Daniel talking that, talking that talk. That's a brutal headshot for the, oh, my God, Daniel, Daniel, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it, his offense is winning, it's winning rampant. My God, his offense is coming alive, y'all.
17 seconds left. Maryland trying to get this point. Oh, man. Maryland offense been coming coming alive as of late, but do they have enough time? That's the, that's the thing. Do they have enough time? I don't know. Seventeen seconds left. We're gonna get some water at the break. I'll get some food later. Yeah, FYI, um, don't do fasting, y'all. It's not for the week. Been doing this for about three months. No, nah, nah, I lied. Five months. I eat between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. Every single day to create discipline for the mind. Anyone knows me knows that I love to eat. And I eat very, very often. But it's part of the discipline. Mind over matter. Maryland off to the races. Two players left for Maryland. One player left. Oh, he stepped out! 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 With exactly right at the buzzer too. Much needed for the Terrapins. And just like that, we're going straight to halftime. I'm getting that water. Or I'm going to pass out. There's no ifs or buts about it. I'll be right back. First of all, I want to say thank you uh, to Maryland. <clears throat> In particular, Max. Number 15, so on the ground right now. He offered me three oranges, y'all. Offered me three oranges. Definitely knew that. Yeah, I, I knew if I wasn't, jeez, uh, there we go. I knew that <clears throat> if I didn't get anything to eat, I knew like if I wasn't going to get anything to drink, I was going to pass out. And I was going to have to stop the stream. There was just no other way of saying it. Um, but luckily, Max was able to help me out. So, so thank you, Max. All right. All right, we, we'll have enough energy to get through this game. And then I'm going to make the drive back home to North Virginia, and then I'm going to crash. I'm going to pass out. Because I am, well, I'm beyond my limitation at this point, y'all. So my apologies if my energy is a little down, but it is what it is. Woo! All right, let's see what we got here. Daniel makes his throw. Woo! Got him. Got him. Got him. Caught, caught him sleeping on the job. Caught him sleeping on the job, y'all. Oh, that's an easy catch. Can't, can't do that. Can't do that, man. Ah, just a little off target. Just a little bit. Good block. Turn up the crowd mic a little bit more. 
There we go. Cool, 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 cool. Seven, eight, Daniel. Five, four, oh, got him with the toe tapper. Oh, but he got hit. Let's go. Number nine, Robinson, with another big kill right there. Another big kill. Daniel taking his time. Not bad. He's taking his time. He's more center now. Zach told me that he picked up 10 pounds worth of muscles. You can definitely tell that his ability has gotten a lot better, too, and his overall movement. Uh oh, he's way out of front. All right. Pump fake. Another pump fake. Good throw by Zach. Sorry, good throw by Daniel. My apologies. Oh, wait a minute. Did he? Did he? Oh, no. And two players comes out of all that exchange. Yikes. Stay up, stay up, stay up. 45. That's not going to work. Low throw, good reset throw, nevertheless. Good reset throw. And they will get the ball back. Good job. Good job. Now they can just take their time. Good throw by, good throw by Zach. I mean by Zane. By Jake. Jake Coleman, good throw by him. Good block. Here it comes. Woo, miss catch. That is a miss catch. That is a miss catch. Hate to see it. Definitely hate to see it. All right, time.
Those oranges were delicious. That hit the spot. All righty, I got my energy back, y'all. I'm ready. Ready to go, ready to stream. Let's do this, y'all. All righty, so pretty much we've been seeing both teams going back and forth continuously. Maryland is currently down one to two. Both teams are kind of playing at a slow pace right now, respectfully. Jake. Woo! Man. Let's see how much time is left. It's 11.54 left in the second half. Kelly with the long throw, no dice. Woo! Excuse me. Both teams are just trading reset throws right now. Woo! Jake just cut him down. Like a Kit Kat bar. Broke him in half. Woo, that was close. Kelly looking to push up. Woo, good block. Jake, another woo! Man, didn't miss his target by too much. UVA is holding on to a 2-1 lead. Yeah, JMU is done. They went 1-2 for today. JMU is done. They're reffing. Nah, I don't think that's going to count. Oh, Drew said it was good. Okay. Never mind. Jesus. For a man who told me that he couldn't even lift his arm up earlier this week, and the fact that he's still having not only the strength, but the mental fortitude to be just drawing straight gas. And just doing it consecutively. Mind you, I saw this man earlier today, and his fingers was twitching. But he told me straight up, he's like, Shadi, I need a win. And Jake is just doing what Jake does, just cutting people down. Just break them off one by one like a Kit Kat bar. Break them and fold them. Break them and fold them, man. Ridiculous. No one should have all that power. Yeah, Kelly got hit on that one. He did. <laughs> yeah, definitely sponsored by Ivory Popin, for sure. A hundred percent. He's definitely being he's definitely being sponsored by Ivory Popin. There's no way. 
there's no way he's going to be feeling this in the morning. Maryland has less than six. But because they have less than um, three balls, they're not on the 10 count. Now they're on the 10 count. Jake creeping. Oh, that's just, that's just, oh, sweet Jesus. Woo. Oh, okay. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. Oh! Oh, wait a minute! Team catch! And we missed that kill by Jake, but he was able to get him off the camera. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That ball stays down the ground long enough, too. That's, that's kind of lethal, man. Maryland definitely needs some catches right now. Jake is about to put it through the gas. Woo! All right, Maryland has less than three balls, so they shouldn't be on the tent. Woo! That's a catch for Maryland, the young rookie. Giving his teammate an opportunity to stay in this game. Oh, what a toe tapper by number 10 Wells. Right on the money. Long throw. That was close. That was close. Oh, boy. They have two balls. There is no balls over. As long as you have less than three balls, you there is no balls over. Woo! Man, she's taking a beating. Taking a vicious beating on that. My goodness. Jake is just looking at Yeah, he's shaking his fingers off right now. I'm I'm watching him. He's grimacing. He's just pushing through it at this point. His accuracy might take a slight hit, though. You can see him kind of just clenching, clenching his right hand. But he told me, Shadi, I need a win. He's grimacing right now. He, he, doesn't, he does not want to throw. He does not want to throw, y'all. Someone else got someone else gotta take the burden off of him. Or at least help him out. Definitely a good time for some team throws, so. There we go. Another kill by Jake. Taking out 29 for Maryland. Another kill for UVA. Maryland only got two players left. The rookie and Daniel. Multiple pump fakes. Woo! Another kill for Jake. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Woo! Captain versus captain. Jake wants this. Bump that. Team throw. Got him by the foot. Slow to get up. Slow to get up, but I think he's okay.
Ready, ready, ready. Wow. Four thirty two left in the game. I don't think Maryland's gonna have enough time. I don't think so. I, I really don't think they're gonna have enough time to come back. I don't think I don't think so personally, man. Here we go. kid took a concussion straight to the face. Medical timeout. It really does. Dodgeball is a very unforgiving sport, but my God, Nick, I don't know what, listen, I don't know who said what to Nick. I don't know. They said something inappropriate, and they said something about his mama or something, but that throw had nothing but bad intentions. We had to stop the game. Had to stop the game. God. Yeah, he, he yeah. Whew. Yep, and just like that, Penn State. <sighs> Towson camera got knocked over. It is what it is. And ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the reasons why you need people willing to do live streaming. So that way, if you want to watch not one, but multiple games, you can do that. That's what happens when it's stationary. You don't have anybody protecting it. You don't have anyone making the adjustments. And as a result, you can't watch the game. You hate to see it. But there is a way two, one. that you can help us out in the future so we do Three, not have these two, problems. One. Oh, that's a kill. And that's a catch. Kill catch combo by the man with the red shirt. Unfortunately, we don't know your name because we don't have a jersey number or nothing like that. But that was a good combo, nevertheless. Catch and kill. Good block, Jake. Ooh, just misses. Just misses again. Oh, boy. Another pop ball. Another one. It's not slow, Shadi. It's methodical. Last time I checked, those are synonyms, Zach. Last time I checked, those are synonyms. But but they do have deep, different meanings. Methodical means a, a strategic pace. Slow is just driving under 55 miles per hour, I-95 north, heading towards Norville. 
Northern Virginia. <laughs> yeah, that might have been against Vincent. Not bad. Not bad. Woo! He was looking for it. He was looking for it. Yikes, that's not going to work, guys. And that's a kill. That is a kill. Hate to see it. Now watch out for Jake. Good block. Guy caught sleeping on the job. Jake along with another UVA player was able to take down two players from Maryland. They never saw the cross coming. I saw that from a mile away. And Jake, oh, team catch. Missed that off camera. But team catch, nevertheless. Oh, almost knocked him out. Almost knocked him out, y'all. As a player, who do you need to talk to about live streaming some of the games? As a player. That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. There's two ways how you can go about doing this. You can send a, a pri you can send a private message uh, to the NCDA. Woo! What a catch! You can send a, a private message to the NCDA on Facebook, and um, they will get back to you. Or you could reach out to me personally because my name is Shadid Drakeford, Director of Internal Affairs, and actually. Live streaming is actually my area of expertise. And if you are a player within the NCDA, I actually have. Ooh, that was close. Oh, he caught it. Robinson made the catch. Um, as your director of internal affairs, I actually have a legal obligation to actually help the NCDA with the live streaming, not only with the, not only with the, you know, the concept of it, but actually the whole setup and everything. It's actually part of your membership. You know, it's actually part of your membership. That's that's literally like I'm literally legally obligated to help the NCDA out. It's getting crazy now. So yeah, if you are, if you, whew, it's getting crazy now. It's just getting really, really crazy. So, um, yeah, so reach out to me via e – well, actually, send your email out to the NCDA at ncda at gmail.com. What a catch. Woo, suicide attempt did not work. Game is over. And just like that, we are going home. Um, but, yeah, as a player, I'm actually legally obligated to help you out. That's actually one of my responsibilities as an executive board member. So yeah, it's actually part of my responsibility. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem, man. At least we got to be on camera more than just one game. Yeah, yeah. Um. No, nah, Zach. He, no, nah, Zach. He's a solid player. He's a solid player. Um, solid player. Yeah, but one last time, um, if you're not a current player, and you actually want to figure out ways how you can actually uh, support the NCDA to potentially have more live streaming, not only for me but also from other people around the league. Because again, we don't get paid for this. Um, one last time for the one time. Here is the PayPal. At ncda.dodgeball.com. Oh, sorry, at NCDA Dodgeball. And one last time for legal purposes I'll just quickly talk about what happens when you donate towards the NCDA. The NCDA is a non-profit, it's a 501c3 nonprofit organization. 
So when you donate your money towards the NCDA, it is tax deductible. We will give you a receipt, and you can use that as part of your tax write-off. So we have three different funds. We have the scholarship funds, we have the official fund, and we also have the recruitment and retention fund. So the scholarship fund, if you are a current player in the NCDA, you need work experience because you understand that there's a lot of people who got the same major as you, and you need something to separate yourself from your peers, and you need work experience. When you put money towards the scholarship fund, you will have a paid internship by the NCDA. And it's going to help refine your skills in a business and organizational setting. So we, we have people from this particular internship doing stuff like helping, like helping me out with the eSports tournament last year with Call of Duty. We had some people, you know, doing commentating just like myself. Uh, we also had people doing administrative work like, you know, updating the website and, you know, being on the rule book committee and all that good stuff. The official, the officiating fund. So pretty much a lot of these teams, um, they do their own refing, you know, respectfully. There will be times that you will have alumni that will be able to help us out. And so when you put money towards the official funding, what this would do, it would actually pay for refs, not only for nationals, but also for other tournaments as well. This will help us get in referee shirts, whistles, and penny shirts. So when we have better refs, the games are going to be better and better quality. Last but not least, something very dear to my heart is the recruitment and retention fund. This one is personal to me. As a chemical engineer and as an emergency manager, part of my responsibility towards the NCDA is to make sure that your son or your daughter comes to tournaments and away from tournaments the way that they are safe and sound. Safety is my biggest priority. And COVID-19 has gotten in the way of that quite a bit. So we have to be more stricter with our rules and regulations. As a result of COVID-19, a lot of these teams had a very difficult time recruiting this year. And some of these teams are on the verge of being dysfunctional, no longer exists. So when you put money towards, the, re towards uh, the recruitment and retention fund, what it would do is that it's going to help maintain our lead ambassador program and to provide funds for the sole purpose of recruiting and retention. When money goes towards the ambassador program, you're going to have people like myself willing to give up a Sunday or a Saturday travel to local teams to help in marriage practices, as well as in, you know involvement fairs, also tournaments too for live streaming. Because if we learn one thing from the pandemic is that content is the new marketing. If you don't have content and you're trying to promote your teams, you don't exist. So people like me, we show up, we do live streaming, we create reels on Instagram and Facebook, and we post the full games on YouTube at NCDA Dodgeball. So that way, when these teams want to tell about potential new players about what college dodgeball is all about, they have something for that. And also, the fund will also go toward dodgeball care packages that will help every new team be successful in their development. So, it was a mouthful, but it is what it is. <sighs> the time is currently the time is currently 3:15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm not gonna be home till like around 6:30, 7 o'clock at night. Um, I'll try to get all these videos edited and uploaded as quickly as possible to the best of my ability. I thank you for your patience. Thank you for allowing me to be your videographer as well as your main commentator for court one. I do not know when my next NCDA tournament is going to be. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Everyone, please be safe.
Girl, don't be complacent. You better take time. Uh, you put me.